Photo editing with the help of artificial intelligence is something I've been hearing whispers of for a little while now. I'd watched a few talks and read a few blogs and was certainly interested to see if AI could speed up our editing workflow. Lucky for me, we were approached by Batch AI to try their software and I've been testing it out for the last couple of months. I decided to put Batch AI to the test during our busiest months of the year, September and October. To conduct the test, I would grab my stopwatch every time I was editing a wedding and see how long it would take to edit from the moment I hit that develop tab to being ready to export. Every second wedding I would use Batch AI and every other wedding I was on my own. First, let me break down my editing workflow. Something I really enjoy about Batch AI is that it integrates easily with Lightroom Classic. I simply download the latest version of the plugin, open Lightroom and add Batch to my plugin manager. I then sort my photos by file name so that photos taken on the same camera are grouped together. I have a quick scan of all the photos and apply a green label to the first photo in a sequence of the same or similar lighting scenario. After scanning the full collection, I filter by label to show only the images I have labeled green. I then get to work editing each of these, taking my time to get the settings just right, as this becomes my reference or anchor image for Batch AI to know how to edit the photos that follow, until it encounters the next image that is labeled green. Once I'm happy with my anchor images, I go to File, Plugin Extras, Batch AI, make sure my anchor marker is set to color label green, tick exclude black and white, then hit Run Batch AI. Amazingly, Batch AI can fine tune a thousand photos in one minute. As I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to editing, I still take the time to check every single image and make further tweaks. I rarely have to tweak the exposure and white balance. I'm simply doing additional edits like cropping and minor retouching. So here are my findings. Now this isn't super scientific or airtight because there's still a major human component to the editing. So do I think we will start to use Batch AI to help edit all weddings? It certainly saves time. And if I was less of a perfectionist or if the lighting conditions were more consistent throughout a shoot, then Batch would save even more time. A major element that can't be overlooked is that with Batch successfully editing the majority of images, meaning only minor tweaks are needed, if any, my overwhelm at editing hundreds of images is significantly reduced. The mental fatigue is something that certainly plays into editing and reducing that makes a big difference in my opinion. After doing this study for myself, I'm certainly leaning towards permanently incorporating Batch AI into my editing workflow. If you're interested in trying Batch AI for yourself, you can try batching 500 images for free. Simply follow the link in description. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this case study helpful.